So the uh, motivation of my talk is as follows. Uh, so uh, let x, x is a smooth projective variety of a complex number t. And uh, let's consider certain modular spaces of a uh, stable object on, on the derived category of coherent sieves on X, or just coherent sieves on X. So, mm -hmm. so this is a modular space of uh, sigma stable objects on uh, derived category of coherent sieves on X. Uh, with fixed chunk character. So uh, instead of a good uh, case is, so uh, it is represented by a uh, precise projective scheme or projective scheme. Uh, so sigma is, uh, for example, GSK uh, stability condition. So in this case, so sigma is, a, so this is a classical modular space of uh, stable sheaves. Well, we can also consider a bridge and stability condition. On the of x. So uh, let's assume that such a modular space exists. So uh, in general, so this modular space depends on choice of the sigma. And there is a wall crossing phenomena. So <coughs> So uh, this implies that, so for example, if you consider the uh, space of which and stability conditions, it forms a complex manifold. And there is a, a wall and chamber structure on the space of stability conditions such that. So there are certain walls. So if a uh, stability condition crosses the wall, then uh, this modular space may, may change. So uh, it is interesting to see how the uh, geometry of these modular spaces changes under wall crossing of stability conditions. So uh, in some cases, uh, uh, this wall crossing uh, phenomena can be described in a nice way. Uh, for example, if you assume that uh, both uh, modular spaces are smooth varieties, and, these are, and in many cases, in some cases, uh, this becomes just a bi-rational map. Uh, in this case, so we can uh, we can talk, we can discuss the relationship of these modular spaces uh, in terms of uh, bi-rational geometry. For example, we can ask whether this is a usual flip or a flop in bi-rational geometry. So sometimes, why is either flip or a flop? <coughs> And if we have such a nice relationship, then we can uh, also uh, talk about the difference of uh, derived categories of coherent saves on these modular spaces. So uh, indeed, so in general, if you have a flip or flop of smooth uh, projective varieties, then it is expected that there is some relationship between the derived categories of both sides. So this is uh, conjecture due to bond bondal and also a uh, Kamata. So this conjecture is, is a, a general, so we don't have to restrict to the modular spaces. But uh, uh, anyway, so if I is a uh, flip or flop of uh, smooth varieties, then uh, uh, we should have some visions of derived categories of coherent series. So, uh, so if this is a flip, then the derived category of the flipped one must be uh, smaller than the, smaller than here. So this is a flip case, and in the flop case, so this is equivalence. <coughs> Uh, do you want to know that first definition of flip or flop? Yeah. Uh, so the uh, so yeah so 
Yes, I, I think that, yeah, so this conjecture can be more generalized in the case that, so uh, let's say I have a common resolution of this bi-rational map. Then let's assume that this condition holds. If this is a flip, then this condition is satisfied. So this conjecture can be generalized yeah. for uh, if I have two bi-rational maps satisfying this inequality, then this uh, uh, condition should hold. Okay. And flip case is just just the equality. But this is a more general case of the flip or flop. So yeah, any, anyway. So. Uh, <coughs> But uh, this question makes sense yeah, if you only assume that uh, these moduli spaces are smooth and these are bi-rational. And uh, uh, in some cases, yeah, this is satisfied. So this is, we have the following example. Uh, so this example is uh, due to uh, Daniel hyper So <coughs> let's say x is a K3 surface. Then, uh, in this case, uh, it is known that so, uh, by the work of Bayer and Macri, or, so, uh, in the case of this stability, this is a result by Mukai, and in the region of stability case, this is a by, uh, result by Bayer and Macri that uh, this modular space is a holomorphic uh, sympathetic manifold. And uh, <coughs> and uh, 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 yes, uh, yes, so this is somehow, yeah, so that, that last, last statement. So if I fix chunk character with primitive Mukai vector, and if you take a generic uh, stability condition, then uh, this holds. So anyway, so uh, if you don't uh, assume the uh, projectivity, so this is always true anyway. So it always has a homoexion symbiotic structure on the stable part. So uh, uh, and also uh, in the work of Bayer and Macquarie, so uh, they described the case in which case uh, the so the modular space is created by flop or something, flop or yeah, somehow by rational transformations. And indeed, if this is uh, if this is flop, then uh, there is an announced work by Daniel Hyper Weistner that we have equivalence of derived categories. So. So this is announced. <coughs> so uh, in this case, so uh, uh, so this question makes sense because post modular space is a non singular and these are the, the uh, so in any case this is a bilational map. So we always have the equality of the canonical divisors. So uh, we can ask the relationship of these. Uh, Derived categories and, uh, and now here by the uh, technique of variation for GIT quotients and derived categories, uh, he can uh, he says that this can be proven. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but so the yes, the, co the purpose of this my talk is that I'd like to uh, uh, give some framework to discuss this kind of question in the case that X is a Calabria C fold. Purpose that study <coughs> the question. So name, namely, so uh, I want to investigate what is the, the relationship of the modular spaces and the wall crossing, and what is the relations of the derived categories. Mm -hmm. That's your question when X is a Calabria C fold.
So the main issue for, the, for extending this problem to Kavya C4 is that, uh, so uh, in general, the modular space of uh, shapes or objects on Kavya C4 is uh, quite uh, badly behaved. So in general, so uh, this is badly singular. So this is uh, too bad, so that this is beyond the uh, technique of bidirectional geometry. For example, bidirectional geometry introduces like terminal singularity or canonical singularities. But the singularity which appear on this modular space is uh, it's, uh, not in that framework. So indeed, this is not even uh, irreducible, not reduced, <coughs> also on. So uh, it does not make sense to uh, even to talk about the uh, bidirectional geometry of such uh, modular space. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, very stupid question. Mm -hmm. It's the, about the initial view called B of the N sigma plus. Mm -hmm. This is not the derived value of variable C on this modular space. Mm -hmm. This one? I mean, yeah. It is a modular space of, it's a derived category of variable C for X. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Mo modular it's space. It's a, it, the on the modular space. space. On the modular space, yes. Ah, I see. So it's not directly related to this DD of X? Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah. So there, there are some, some works repeating these uh, derived category and derived category of coefficient sieves because uh, so there is a universal sieve on the X product of this modular space. So you can define a factor using universal sieve. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, but yeah. By the way, is this equivalence compatible with this marker from the DO I don't know. So, uh, so this, this, yeah, this is constructed using uh, so called theta stratification and window subcategories. And it is, yeah, not, not clear what is the relationship of this equivalence and the some other functor constructed geometrically. So, I, I don't know. Yeah. I think it's not, not clear. So, uh, but, uh, but, so there are several uh, works on this uh, modular space. Indeed, so, uh, uh, by the work of uh, the Pantev, uh, uh, Toen, uh, Baki, and Bezoshi, so the, uh, this is a truncation of minus one shielded symplectic derived scheme. And it, so it was uh, some, some structure. So, uh, so <coughs> in the case of surface case, so this is a, a symplectic manifold, but uh, it was a shifty symplectic structure. But that shifty symplectic structure does not imply anything about the uh, canonical li line band of this one. So uh, sometimes, so not for, but like flip type uh, case occurs. But anyway, so uh, our approach for this problem is that. So uh, I'd like to consider uh, this kind of question somewhat uh, virtually. So uh, I'd like to press uh, flip or flop is some uh, different notion of uh, so -called which I call the critical flip. So this is not a usual bilational map, but this is yeah, something like a, a virtual bilational map. And what does D mean? D means, uh, <laughs> yeah, there are several opinions. So yeah, maybe you can guess that this was introduced by uh, Dominic Joyce, so maybe you can, you can guess. Oh, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, derived differential, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that he said that yeah, he just like like like, like this, so <laughs> I, I cannot say any comments. <laughs> 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 yeah, maybe, yeah, you can also interpret it as derived, yeah, derived critical locus, but if you say derived critical locus, it yeah, means yeah, derived, yeah, so it, it forgets about some structure, but it's still derived critical locus. So, yeah, 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 it's up to how you imagine what I think. So, and uh, yes, 
And uh, yes, and I directly replace derived category. So indeed, so if some space has quite bad singularity, so it does, it's usually not uh, uh, not a good idea to use the usual derived category of cofined series, and I directly replace it by the uh, which I prove as categorical uh, Donaldson Thomas theory. <coughs> So the hope of this approach is that, so on, uh, if x is Kabir C fold, uh, we can define the numerical invariant from here, so-called Donaldson Thomas invariant, mm -hmm. and there exists several wall crossing formula of Donaldson Thomas invariant, which gives certain uh, uh, several properties of this generating series. So now my hope is that to give a, a categorization. of the wall crossing formula of uh, usual Donaldson Thomas invariant. So, so this is the motivation of my talk. Is there actually a precise statement of this one that this matrix factorization categorizes decategorifies the DT invariants? Yes, but I'm going to talk about it. Yes, yes. Uh, <coughs> yeah, so uh, let, let me recall about the Donaldson Thomas theory. So, uh, from the vanishing construction by vanishing cycles. So, uh, as I told, so the module, so let's, let's say x is Kabir C4. So, uh, uh, as I told, the module space of uh, stable shields, stable objects, has quite bad similarities, but uh, it is uh, known that uh, local it has critical locus. So, this is due to by choice and its collaborators. <coughs> That is, for each point in the modular space, uh, there is a certain open subset. <coughs> and uh, this open subset is embedded into some space, smooth space, smooth uh, scheme. And there is also some function on this smooth scheme. F such that this open locus is written as a critical locus of so this function F. So, uh, so locally we have this picture describing modular space of stable shield as a critical locus. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this case, uh, we can associate a so called uh, C of vanishing cycles associated to this function F. So this is a power shift on this uh, open locus. So, uh, so from this result, so locally, so the modular space of stable object is locally towards critical locus for some functions. But uh, this uh, power shift vanishing cycle uh, a priori depends on choice of this presentation of this U uh, as a critical locus. So indeed, if you choose another choice of uh, chart, then uh, 
Still, this, this bubble sheaf is isomorphic. But this isomorphism is not given canonically. So uh, there is a problem in gluing these bubble sheaves to a global bubble sheaf. So uh, this problem was also stated by uh, Joyce's group. And indeed, the uh, gluing problem is not canonical. So the gluing is determined uh, once choose a so-called orientation data. So this is a square root of the so-called virtual canonical line bundle. So this is for each uh, C for object, each fiber is given by the determinant of chi of dE. So on any modular space, we have a canonically determined uh, line bundle, which is called virtual canonical line bundle. And uh, if we fix a square root line bundle of this virtual canonical bundle, then uh, we can construct the uh, certain grouping of this locally defined power sheaf to a global power sheaf. So uh, if once we have a, a, a global power shift, then we can define, we can consider its a uh, hyper cohomology. Uh, does it mean that it is common to the side? Yes, so if you once fix a square root line bundle, then there is a canonical choice of this grouping, canonical construction. Yes, but this square root is not canonical determined, so there are several choices. Uh, yes, if there is a canonical square root, then this is canonical, but in general, there are many choices. Yeah, but the root state, there is a canonical Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you fix a root, then, yeah, there is a canonical, yeah. What is the root state? Oh, it's a gel. It is a small two gel, which is the obstruction of the existence of the square root. On top of that gel, there is a canonical square root. The root is So uh, this is uh, this hypercohomology is the uh, cohomological DT, and uh, the other characteristic of this uh, hypercohomology is the so numerical DT invariant. And uh, so this cohomological DT depends on choice of uh, orientation data, mm -hmm. but uh, this numerical DT invariant does not depend on choice of orientation. And indeed, if M sigma is compact, this one coincides with the usual integration of the virtual fundamental class. So this is due to by Baron. <coughs> so uh, in this way, so originally DT invariants were defined using virtual class, but there is another way to define invariant using vanishing cycles. And this is another way uh, give refinement of these DT invariants into the cohomological level. So the uh, natural question for this construction is that uh, we can also try to further uh, refine this construction to a more categorical level. That is, uh, we can try to, <coughs> uh, so the question is that we can categorify dt by placing uh, phi f to the uh, category of matrix factorizations. <coughs> so the category of matrix factorization is regarded as a uh, uh, categorization of what is vanishing cycle. So this is due to the work by Efimo. So uh, he shows that so uh, from this category of matrix factorization, if we consider the uh, periodic cyclic homology, <coughs> so then there is an isomorphism of this periodic cyclic homology and the hypercohomology of this uh, power sheaf of vanishing cycles. So this is. And So this is isomorphism as 
Z over 2 graded vector space over the formal punctured disk. Uh, yes, somehow, yeah, more of this canonical, yes. So, um, <coughs> so the natural question is that whether uh, we, we can do this. So this category is also defined locally. So the natural question is that whether we can uh, simulate, uh, define the green of such locally defined uh, triangulated category to give a, a global category. So, but yeah, for me, so this seem is uh, answering this question in general seems to be quite uh, too difficult problem for me. So, so I think it requires some uh, high technology of infinite categories, I think. So uh, today I will give some ad hoc answer for this question in the case of local surface. And, uh, and I'd like to uh, study the question which I uh, addressed. So that uh, today is. <coughs> uh, give ad hoc answer for local surface. So now I'll start from uh, explaining about local surface. <coughs> so uh, let S be a smooth projective surface. And uh, X is given by total space of uh, canonical line bound on, on S. So uh, it projects to S. Uh, so this is a total space of line bundle on this X and on this on surface S, and this is a non-compact Calabria threefold. So then, uh, if we consider the modular space of uh, stable sheaves on X, then it projects to the certain sheaf on S. So uh, in general, we have this diagram. So let X, is, so this is a modular stack of uh, compactly supported uh, C, coherent sheaves on X. And it admits a map. Uh, <coughs> by just pushing forward the coherent C on X to coherent C on, on S. <coughs> so the uh, modular space of stable sheaves appear as an open substack of this uh, big modular space. And uh, so we have the complement. So this is closed. So this is complement. So the advantage of this in this case is that uh, we know how to write down Mx as a critical locus in some explicit way. So, uh, <coughs> so indeed, so the geometry of this uh, geometry of uh, modular sieves on X it has to do with the uh, virtual geometry of the modular sieves on S. So this is because if you take a point over here, 
corresponding to some uh, C from S, then the fiber of this map is given by, so this is just giving a uh, lifting of OS module structure of F to OX module structure on X. So this is nothing but home F, F tends to omega S. But by stable DIT, so this is dual to the X to S, FF. But from the usual uh, deformation of structure theory, so this uh, space appears as the construction space of this uh, deformation of this modular space. So this means that the uh, fiber of this map is dual to the obstruction space. So uh, this phenomena is uh, explained from uh, uh, derived algebraic geometry that uh, so this mx is uh, so-called minus one shifted cotangent over over modular of the on S. <coughs> Uh, so this means that uh, if we denote by S, so this is a uh, derived modular stack. Of, uh, contain the series on S. <coughs> so this appears as a classical truncation of this derived stack. So T0 means that so, uh, classical truncation Then uh, we can form so-called minus unshifted cotangent. So this is a relative spectrum uh, over this uh, derived stack. And this MX is the uh, classical truncation of this uh, minus unshifted cotangent. Uh, so this de description gives a, a local description of the MX as a critical locus. So that means, uh, locally this means as follows. So uh, locally, so this uh, modular stack with that is written as a uh, uh, derived zero locus of some, uh, some section of, mm -hmm. of, of a certain bundle on smooth, smooth, smooth space. That is, so, Let's say I have a smooth map such that uh, U is embedded into smooth scheme mm -hmm. with vector bundle with a section such that so this is C equal to zero uh, in the derived sense. So this is derived to zero locus. So this the structure C of this U is like at a uh, usual Cauchy complex. <coughs> so this is uh, this one. This is usual. This is the Cauchy complex. So, uh, so locally, so this modular stack is uh, derived, derived, derived modular stack is written as uh, derived zero locus. And uh, if you pull back this local description uh, to, if you take a, a pullback of this diagram by this uh, smooth morphism, then uh, get that. <coughs> yes. X, so this is. Uh, it was critical locus of some function w inside the total space of the uh, dual of this vector bundle v. So here, so so w is a function defined by uh, 
couple of this x and v. So x is a point in A, and v is element of the dual. <coughs> so in this way, we can explicitly write the uh, modular space of a series on x in terms of critical locus. <coughs> Global description of what? Critical locus? No, I don't think so. Because uh, uh, just this description is only local. So you don't have a global description of writing this modular stuff in terms of certain derived zero locus. Yeah, local in smooth topology, it is written as certain uh, derived zero locus. And uh, on this topology, it is written as uh, critical locus. <coughs> But uh, also we have some sister action, five by white weight two sister action. And uh, uh, the point of uh, this uh, uh, situation is that uh, there is a close relationship between the derived category of, sorry, uh, between the uh, category of matrix factorizations of W and the derived category of coherent sieves on this uh, derived, uh, affine derived scheme. So uh, the first statement is uh, more or less known by several people. So the is equivalence. A B code U and the C star equivalent matrix factorizations of this function W. So this uh, equivalence can be also constructed in somehow canonical way. So, uh, so, so this equivalence may be, so this, this equivalence was proven in the case S is a regular section by uh, Isaac and uh, uh, Shipman. This is local statement, yes, yes. This is local statement, but uh, but so but from this equivalence, if you consider the usual uh, global derived category of coherent series on MS. So through this equivalence, you can interpret the global derived category of coherent series on this stack can be interpreted as certain gluing of the category of matrix factorizations. But the uh, but one certain point of here is that so here in this construction, so I didn't have to so there is no contribution from the stability conditions. So, uh, so one more statement is that uh, yes, moreover, <coughs> for any uh, so you start invariant, close the subset. <coughs> so we have the identity of the subcategories. So this is equal to the uh, B of U. Such that. So, uh, <coughs> so this means that so this is a subcategory of uh, matrix characterizations, but uh, such that it is supported on Z. And under this equivalence, so the uh, left hand side corresponds to the subcategory, so that uh, subcategory of object. 
such that so this is so called singular support. So <coughs> So this is called singular support. So this notion was due to uh, a linking gateway. So there is some kind of micro-localization of this equivalence. Uh, micro-localization of this equivalence. Uh, maybe, but I don't know about this point. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, you mean, so this equivalence? No, no, it's additional. So this additional fact, yes. So this fact was, yeah, indeed, so mentioned in the paper, of, in their paper, without proof. Yeah, but anyway, so the uh, proof is not so di yeah, di difficult anyway. <laughs> yes, so it is, uh, yes, I will explain, but so this is contained in the critical locus. W. So, hmm? yeah, 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 it, it, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, roughly speaking, so this is defined uh, in terms of certain action of the whole state cohomology of U. So, uh, yeah. So, so if you consider the even part of the uh, whole state cohomology of the structure shift of this fine derived scheme. So uh, this is, for seed cohomology is something like a natural transformation of identity to identity of shift something. So it naturally acts on the uh, form of even EE. And also uh, from the computation of this for seed cohomology, so there is a natural map. So uh, the singular support is, so this is a support of the form even E as O quit module. So the point of here is that, so the notion of singular support is uh, intrinsic to the derived scheme. So this is due to uh, Alic King Gatesboy's work. So we can globalize this uh, subcategory defined in the left hand side. Like this? Yeah. Uh, yes, you can, also, yeah, yeah, you can also do this. So if yeah, you only consider the compact supported series on S, yeah. Compactness is not so, yeah, issue. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, so I think I wrote the diagram here, but so, so this was open locus and Z sigma unstable, so this is a complement. So I define the following. Uh, ETC star of uh, MX sigma to be the uh, quotient of the derived category of quotient series on the uh, derived multi stack of series on surface uh, quotient by the subcategory. So this is the subcategory of object of here whose singular support is contained in the unstable locus. <coughs> so uh, from this statement, so uh, this is interpreted as certain grouping of sister equivalent matrix factorizations, but, uh, but with complement of sigma Unstable. So that the critical locus of this function on this open locus is the uh, 
open subset of the uh, modular space of stable sieves on the three fold. So I would call it as a C type variant. Categorical DT. Yeah, so, uh, so using this category, we can uh, form several uh, conjecture behavior of this category. For example, if you consider the uh, modular space of one-dimensional one sheaves on, on the C-fold X, I expect that so this category is uh, equivalent under wall crossing. But a uh, more interesting wall crossing happens if you consider so-called uh, modular space of stable pairs on Kabiya C fold. Yes. Okay. And the second question is, can you recover the DT invariant? Ah, uh, from this. Uh, so there are some, there are some technical uh, issue to recover it. So this is still conjecture. So uh, if you consider the Hossi uh, um, periodic cycle homology of this one, I expect that it gives a, a cohomological DT theory as T to about zero over two greater vector space. And in, in some special case, I can prove it. But uh, in general, still, still like. Uh, this is because so, uh, uh, so locally, so you have a compatibility, and you have to show that yeah, so several compatibilities of this isomorphism, yeah, so yeah, so it requires some higher homotopy coherence or something. Yeah. So, um, so, so far we have considered the modular space of compactly supported sheaves on a uh, three-fold, but uh, we can also consider modular space of uh, non-compactly supported object. So let's take beta n to be element in the you know, group and integer. So we can define the n x beta. So this is the modular space of so-called stable pair. So F is a pure one-dimensional C. S is subjective in dimension one. The push forward of the fundamental one cycle of F is beta and chi F equal to N. So again, so this is compact supporting. So this is one of the important class of uh, a modular space on Calabria three fold. So indeed, so it's generating the the generating series of DT invariants defined from this modular space should be equivalent to the group of DT invariant. But uh, contrary to the case before, so this is interpreted as two-term complex in derived category of coherent series on X. So the support of this two-term complex is x itself. So it is not compact. But uh, instead, uh, we can form the following diagram. So this is lies in open substack of mx plus. So this is modular stack of rank one object in the extension closure of O x and cof less than y equal to one x straight y minus one. So this is uh, dimension of support is either zero over one and this is extension closure. So indeed so this modular space with stable pairs is realized that certain uh, stable object of this Arbian category. So this is Arbian category. So this is a modular space of certain object in this Arbian category. So we can also form its uh, component. So 
the next statement is that so there is a natural morphism x plus to minus plus so this is a motion stack of pairs such that f is one or zero dimensional so uh, it is easy to construct a map from here to here because so this is uh, just a pair of one dimensional shift with this section. So you can just see it push forward. But our object in here may not be written as certain two term complex like here. So uh, it's not a priori clear how to construct such a map. But anyway, we have such a map and uh, we have similarly. Uh, this is also minus associated cotangent over this Monjai stack of pairs. So this is again a derived enhancement. Subjective in dimension one, so there may be Kokanev. So Kokanev is at most zero dimension. Hmm? If you take push forward, then it's not necessarily subjective in dimension one. So there may be some, yeah, dimension one Kokanev. So this means that if you take a push forward of a stable pair to S, then it may not be necessary, it may not be a stable pair on S. So anyway, so uh, this uh, modular stack of uh, Lanco object in this abelian category is given by uh, this minus associated cotangent over this modular stack of pairs. So uh, similarly to as before, I define ET sister and X beta to be the uh, quotient of the derived category of quotient series on, on this uh, derived modular stack of pairs by the subcategory. So again, so this is uh, subcategory on here whose singular support are contained in this complement. So uh, on this Abelian category, there are several stability parameters. And if you change uh, different stability conditions, then we have a wall coaching phenomena on this modular space of stable pairs. For example, such modular variation of uh, stability conditions on this Abelian category was used uh, in my paper in about 10 years ago to show the rationality of the generating series of heat invariants. So, <coughs> Everybody stability conditions. So yeah, so this is a global yeah, this is a global version. Yes. Locally, so this is a matrix factorization. Yes. So by this by using this global derived category of coefficient series, yeah, yeah. So I pretend that this is somehow global growing of matrix factorization. Yes, uh, so one more comment is that uh, in general, so if you consider Calabria seaport and modular of stable object, then uh, the growing of vanishing cycle depends on the choice of orientation data. But uh, in the case of local surface, there is a canonical choice of orientation data. So, I, so in this case, so we can construct these categories canonically, so we don't have to rely on the choice of orientation. No, no, there is no identity extension stability condition. Like an object in this extension closure. Uh -huh. so, so this is interpreted as a stable part. So the wall crossing diagram. Yeah, next 
data. <coughs> so we can study uh, categorical ball crossing formula. So the easiest case of this uh, study is that when the curve class data is irreducible. So this means that uh, beta is not written as beta 1 plus beta 2, where beta i is positive. <coughs> so uh, in this case, uh, there is a certain uh, variation of uh, stability condition. Uh, such that. Uh, uh, so one stability condition, I get a stable part as a one space of stable, stable pairs. But uh, but here choose another stability condition. Uh, uh, as a stable object, uh, the uh, derived derivative of the modular space of the stable pairs appears. So in that case, the modular space is isomorphic to the which are space with stable pairs with negative homomorphic order characteristic. So uh, this embedding is a natural one, sending stable pair as a two-term complex. But this embedding is uh, given by sending OX to F to the uh, derived dual of this two-term complex. <coughs> so we have two modular space which are deleted by wall crossing. So indeed, so uh, I didn't take, yeah, de define about the critical flop or so, but so this was indeed a uh, critical flip if n is positive, and this is flop, and equals zero. So I didn't explain about this notion, but this is uh, somehow uh, analogy of usual flip or flop for the modular space of, for the uh, schemes which Admit so called D critical structures. So, uh, similar to the uh, conjecture of uh, Bondagogov, Kamata's TK conjecture, we may expect that there is a certain free face embedding of the uh, categorical DT theory. So, uh, indeed, I have the following. So there is a semi orthogonal decomposition. Sorry, so this is image. Okay. And each lambda is so. This is also categorical DT theory of compactly supported modular space of one dimensional shift, but with some twisting, so, which I didn't explain about twist one, but so there is a certain twist version of categorical DT theory. So, <coughs> and this is modular space of one dimensional uh, stable shift. Uh, so in this case, uh, we can recover the usual PT invariant or DT invariant by taking the hosted uh, cyclic homologies of these categories and take its order characteristic. So in particular, it recovers the wall crossing formula <coughs> of the PT invariant. So this was first proven in Pandai Pandey Thomas. So uh, in this case, so the, uh, technical, there is no technical issue. So in this, yeah, on, in this special case, so it is okay. Yes. So uh, I stop here. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, the, the, yeah, the point is that so, uh, even if you start from the uh, modularizable stable shields, so if you take a push forward to the modularizable shields on S, then there are some stacky issues. So if you push forward the stable shield, then it may not be semi stable. So there are some non TBR stabilizers. So this means that uh, if you uh, take a, so even if you start from the modularizable stable shields, in order to give some that numerical revision chip, I get some yeah, smooth, smooth body to compare this. So this means that uh, so uh, so this means that so there is no finite number of uh, chart you can do. So yeah. Mirror yeah, dear picture. Uh, so yeah, I have no, I have no idea. Of course, yeah, everything can be. <laughs> if you yeah in, interpret this word more like space of some yeah. <laughs> Simplest example of this semi-stagnant composition. Uh, yes, so uh, in some special case, uh, for example, uh, if there is only one curve inside a surface, for example, if you consider a rigid curve, then so in some cases, so this becomes the derived category of the symmetric product. Of some curve. So there is a semi-stagnant composition of this symmetric product by the DB of big C. And the DB. So uh, in some very special case, so I, I get something. It's only like this. It's, it's so she is a smooth projected card. So this is a derived category of a symmetric product. So this is a derived category of a symmetric product per curve. So the, the number of points is n plus g minus 1. And these are the derived category of the Jacobian. So there is n copies. And I have another one of the derived category of the symmetric product. Minus n plus g minus one. When n is sufficiently big, this is empty. So you just get this decomposition. Yeah. So this is like categorization of um, theta function curve. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. yeah. 